Hi Gemini, welcome back to my channel Karma Fox. I am doing your weekly reading for April 17th through the 23rd of 2022. I hope you guys had a good week. I am going to take a quick second as always just to remind you that it's general reading. It may not resonate with everyone and I would encourage you to check your other signs and placements, see if those readings resonate better. It's actually a good idea either way. And also keep in mind energies can reverse and flip-flop. Um, if you're interested in a private reading, that information can be found in the small box beneath this reading. So let's get started. Spirit, can I have the energy of Gemini? Gemini. Wow. Okay. All right, Gemini, you are starting out with the Knave of Cups in the reverse. You have the Eight of Wands in the reverse. And coming out together, we have the Three of Wands reversed along with the Six of Cups reversed. Okay, so I am going to go ahead and let you know that there is a karmic cycle or a karmic um, lesson that is being learned. Um, a lot of times people get a little defensive about that. There's no need to be defensive about it. I mean, that's why we're here. We're here to, you know, balance out karma. We're here to learn karmic lessons. So, you know, this is just kind of an alert to you that there's likely something here, either from uh, previous times in your life currently, but most likely from a previous life. All right. So what I'm seeing is there's a blockage here. Now, it could be a blockage in communication with whoever is in your energy, and we'll look at that in a moment. Um, and that would be a blockage in communication. You may have actually just blocked that person entirely. Um, you may have moved. They may be at a distance from you. Um, this is definitely somebody from your past. It could be um, someone from a past life though because like I said there is a karmic element to this but I do feel like you are no longer holding on to this person from your past there's a feeling here that this is not a situation that's going to grow it's not a situation that you're waiting for any longer you've really pulled back your emotions and you don't have intentions of giving to this situation so you're either blocked from this person or they're blocked you've blocked this person but i really have this feeling it might be you gemini because i don't feel like you are investing in this person you don't feel that this is going to become more now let's look at their energy okay so the person you are connecting with Interesting. All right, so we have the Four of Wands. We have the Ten of Swords. And coming out together, we have the Moon in reverse along with the Queen of Wands. Now, you may be dealing with a fire sign. That would be a Leo, Aries, or a uh, Sagittarius. Um, I do need to point out with you that in this particular deck of cards, and I do choose intuitively, this particular Queen of Wands is pregnant. And that is not the norm um, from the traditional of the Queen of Wands. Um, but in this one, if you notice, her hand is on her belly. Her belly is slightly um, protruding here, indicating that there is an early pregnancy, early to mid pregnancy. Um, and I would say early pregnancy. So the reason I bring that up is because it's coming out here with the moon in reverse, which tells me that this may have been a secret or it may have been unknown. And now there's a discovery. There's a, an, an understanding for somebody out here. This could even be one person, but somebody has discovered that they're pregnant. So just uh, giving you heads up on that. Now, in their energy, I can see that this person um, has had a painful ending. Um, they would like to have 
This was a long-term connection, possibly a marriage, um, and that is what they want with you, Gemini. They still want that with you. Um, they want to bring this together. However, there was a painful ending here, and I do believe you may have been the one who blocked them. Um, I also see that their feeling is that everything just crumbled to dust. It looks like it was very sudden. There may have been an argument where some truth was brought out and everything just kind of crumbled to dust. And that would have also been the point where there may have been a blockage of some sort that was placed. Um, now, for those of you that there is no pregnancy here, um, something still came out. It could have been about someone else that may have been involved in the connection. Um, because Queen of Wands can at times be um, a third party in the connection as well. So that's a possibility as well. Um, yeah, so let's look at the energy of the connection itself. This person, I, I can tell you right now, they feel like they've had a realization of some sort, though. Or, or a secret. Something here has come out. All right, we have the Nine of Cups in the reverse. So this indicates to me, Gemini, that neither of you are actually getting what you want here with this connection. Um, it's, it's not... Um, neither of you are having your wishes fulfilled within this connection. Let's see what is um, affecting it. Okay, so we have the seer in reverse. Interesting. So that's again, that's that secret. That's that secret, whatever came out. So this is like the high priestess. Um, the high priestess is the keeper of secrets. I do believe this may have come out in some kind of written form for, for a lot of you. Um, and I do also think that it took time for whatever this was to come out. But when it did, it came out in a written form. It was very sudden. It was a moment of truth for this person. And I, I feel like um, that's where the distance came in. That's where this breakup happened. And you may have blocked this person. Um, let's look at the outcome at the end of the week. Three of Cups in the reverse. Okay, so... <laughs> this is a tough read. I'm not going to lie. Um, so I don't see either of you being very happy with the way things are by the end of the week. I'm also not seeing this coming back together um, towards the end of the week either. We have at the bottom of the deck the star card in reverse. Now this tells me that somebody in this equation, this is underlying energy, and it tells me that somebody is giving up hope on this connection. Yeah, I see the chariot underneath that, and that's somebody that's moving forward, moving forward with their life in order to be successful. So let's, um, let's clarify here. All right. Why is the Knight of Chalices here? here. All right, so we have the Seven of Wands and the Four of Swords. Yeah, you're going to stand your ground with regard to this. I do feel like, again, once again, you've pulled back. I don't see communication here, Gemini, and I feel like you're defensive. You're going to stand your ground. You're emotionally not investing in this. You're, you, you're, you're pulled back physically. You're pulled back emotionally. Um, there's a sense here that you're trying to kind of heal your energy but you're isolating. You're not communicating with this person. Um, let's see why. Let's see. Eight of Wands here. In the reverse. The Tower in Reverse. It was a Tower moment for you as well. And the Magician. You're trying to recover. You're trying to pick up your, you know, pick things up and move forward. Um, you're, you're also in a um, manifesting mode, 
And that is, uh, the magician is your major arcana. So I do feel like you're stepping into your power here. So I feel like you're trying to empower yourself, manifest the life that you want, and just recover from this, this event. Um, it was a it was a difficult event for you as well. Let's look at. Um, so I feel like you might be the one who's really trying to give up on this um, connection, or you have given up on it, because you're seeing that or feeling that you know there's not anything here for you anymore. That seeds that have been planted are not really going to come to fruition. All right, so we have the Four of Wands. Now, you each have that. We have the Six of Coins and the Knight of Swords reversed. Again, not wanting to speak, not wanting to, to talk. Um, and there is an indication that there was a lie. There was a lie that was present. Perhaps somebody was giving their attentions to more than one person for some of you. Um, I also see for some that there may have been breadcrumbing here that was going on. It looks like this was a marriage or a long-term connection. And I can see that in both of your energy. But you feel like this is not going to be a productive connection. And so you're releasing this connection. Yeah, you're releasing this connection, Gemini. And I don't see you, you know, wanting to talk to this person. You're trying to bring balance back into your life. So I, I feel like you're moving away from this person. You're not interested. Now let's look at their energy. Um, why is the four of wands here? Ten of swords reversed and the ace of cups reversed. Yeah, very painful ending. They're trying to recover from that painful ending as well. This person, um, they do have feelings for you. They they do love you. Um, they are holding back emotionally. They're, they're realizing that the connection ended. It was very draining for them as well. It was painful. And they're trying to recover as well. Um, let's see why is the Ten of Swords here. Now, it could also be that for some of you that this is not a current pregnancy. There could have been a lie about a pregnancy um, from the past. And that's what has come out. And that may be what has caused this to end. Because there's an element of time that has passed. So it could have been a pregnancy from the past. And the truth has come out. All right, so yeah, there was an argument. We have the Five of Swords and the Page of Pentacles. There was an argument here. Um, again, I'm seeing that there may have been a written form, perhaps even a text that got this started. It, it got ugly, though. And I can tell you that this person was determined to win because they wanted this to become more. And... Definitely for some of you, this involved a child. So there may have been a lie that was about a child, the, the parentage of a child. I don't know if somebody lied about that or lied about being pregnant at some point and they actually were not, but there's something about a lie and a child. Um and a pregnancy for some of you, not everyone. For others, what I am seeing, though, is that um, it, it was something to do with a beginning. It was a, a new beginning. It was, um, you know, so not everything that is literal, not everything is literal. So it could have been like an offer to begin something new as well. But there was a lie involved here. And it... I think this information came out. There was a big fight. And I feel like you've blocked this person, Gemini. Because deception came out. I 
do see somebody with green eyes for somebody. flying so let me collect all right so we have the nine of cups page of cups and the three of wands now we're getting some repeating cards and they are in the reverse so in your shared energy here is the nine of cups reversed okay in your energy is the three of wands reversed so I do feel like this person, they definitely, um, this was what they wanted, this connection. And they, if there was a pregnancy here, they wanted to become pregnant. They, they were waiting for this. They were waiting for the pregnancy. They, they wanted to be pregnant. And I do feel like um, something did come out. And it, for most of you, it's not about a current pregnancy. It's about a previous pregnancy that may have resulted in a child. Um, between the two of you. And there may be something that was kept secret. There was a deception involved about that. For others, it's, it's a, it's a um, current pregnancy. Now, again, not everything is literal. Um, there may have been something here about a new beginning, an offer here, an offer to increase the connection, make the connection something, you know, um, more than what it is. So you'll have to take it as it resonates for you. Um, for some, I definitely see a, a, like it was a new beginning in a connection or a beginning period. This was, whatever it was though, it was what this person really wanted. They desperately wanted this. They're, they were waiting for this. They were waiting for this offer. And this is, see, you also have this card in reverse. So you've removed that offer. You've pulled that offer back. Because you have all of these cards in reverse. So you've done a complete about face, Gemini. And it's because of something that was revealed. And it for some of you, it had to do with a third party. Like I said, there was a Queen of Wands, so somebody else came into the picture. So there's a complete reversal here in your energy from what, what was happening here. Because this person was waiting for this offer. And that it was what they really, really wanted. And I do feel like it was coming through until this argument and this whatever was revealed. And then this argument happened and you did a complete about face. Let's look at the energy of the connection. All right, we have the strength card in reverse. Sign of Leo. We have the Ten of Cups reversed and the Ace of Wands. So the, the uh, connection is just not strong enough to, to withstand what's taking place here. Um, I do see that this person, there is a, they want to have a new beginning. There is a sexual component to this in some way. But you're just not happy with the connection. Um, they may have tried to to bring you back into the connection um, through the use of sex. Ace of Wands is a very phallic symbol, um, but I do feel that emotionally you're just not um, happy with this connection. So you're pulling back. You're definitely pulling back. Um, it's, and the connection's just not strong enough to withstand whatever this was that happened, the secret. Let's look at that. Why is the seer in reverse? All right, so 
so we have the world in reverse and the chariot in reverse. Yeah, so whatever the secret is, neither of you are able to, to move on from this. Um, cause there's stuck energy for both of you. So you're neither of you able to, to like move forward away from this. And that would make sense if there is a pregnancy or if there, there is a child involved, because obviously you wouldn't want to move away from the child, but, um, you would want to move, Gemini, it looks like you want to move away from the connection. And that makes sense. So they don't want to move away from the connection. And they may be trying to keep you locked in with either a pregnancy or with a child. And I, I hate to say that because, I mean, that sounds terrible. But I have to say what I'm, I'm reading here. I mean, I wish I could just give you guys always the most positive readings. But... I have to tell you what is being presented because somebody needs to hear it. And if it's not for you, then, you know, just uh, leave it for somebody else. That means spirit felt that someone else needed the reading this week. You know, check back next week or check your other signs. But neither of you are able to move on from this. Um, now, for some of you, you're just not able to move, move past the secret that was revealed. Um, you're not able to let that go. But it really looks like for Gemini here that um, that there's something that keeps you tied into this. Let's look at the uh, outcome. All right, so we have the Seven of Swords. We have the Death card. And we have the Eight of Cups in the reverse. Yeah, so they're, they're going to come back in your direction, Gemini. But there's deception that's still present. Um, Seven of Swords is the shared energy here. So there's still some deception here. And that's why you're not happy with this connection. You're, you're either seeing or sensing or you know of there's still some deception. Um, or you might, might not be telling them everything. I don't know. But I do see that there's still some deception here. They're going to want to bring this back together because, you know, they're not, they're not past this. Their energy tells me that you're still what they want. Um, they're waiting to, to bring this back together. They're, they're hopeful. They're actually going to take action um, towards this. They may, they may offer you something here. Um, I don't see you being interested. There is nothing in your energy that says you're interested. Um, you have the death card. So now you could be dealing with a Scorpio, but it really looks to me like you are, you're done here. And it has to do with the deception. So, I, I just feel like you're, you're over this. Bottom of the deck is the Queen of Cups. Now, you might be dealing with a water sign. That would be a Pisces, Scorpio, or a Cancer. Um, but it's underlying energy as well, which tells me that you're being very choosy about where you give your love. Um, you're... You've given, maybe given up hope on this connection, but you have a lot of love and you're very perceptive here. And I do feel like you're kind of pulled back and you're being very careful, very, very choosy. Um, this Queen of Cups, she has this cup here, but she the lid is on it. She's not just like giving it up to anybody. So there's discernment being used as far as where your love is being given. So, and that makes sense. All right, so Gemini, I have brought back the Angel Answers uh, card. So if you want to get a question in mind, I'm going to pull. And we'll see if we can get you a, an answer. So Spirit, I am pulling for Gemini. All right, let's see what we've got. It says, Meditation Brings Answers. 
So Gemini, take some time to meditate, okay? It'll be very helpful, and it will bring you the answers you're seeking. All right, I hope this has been helpful. If you would, like and share the video. And if you want to drop a comment, feel free. Until I see you next week, namaste.